Hi, this is Marco Williams from Hashbang Games. Um, today, I want to do kind of a tutorial overview of NGUI and how to set up your camera, how the camera interacts with um, with different setups. Because I recently ran into a problem where I couldn't uh, click on some UI elements and it had to do with how I had everything set up. Um, as you can see on the screen, uh, I have a, I have three spheres and a few menu options. And when I push play, I can hover over each of the menu options um, and they're clickable menu options. But the, the thing is, is that they're all set up a little bit differently. Each one of these is set up um, as you can see in the scene up here, you have uh, one that has more of a 3D um, a UI element that is in close proximity to your uh, 3D model. Then you have uh, our second one, which the UI elements are, are not near it. Um, and then we have the 2D uh, setup where um, it's an orthographic uh, UI. And orthographic UIs are really good for like just standard HUD elements around your uh, the, the frame or, or using them as menu items, uh, pop-up menus, etc. So I wanted to kind of just briefly show you how I have this whole thing set up. So what I'm gonna, act I'm gonna actually wipe this out. We're just gonna do it from scratch so we can kind of uh, overview each of the different types. So I'm going to un unplate. I'm going to stop this and I'm just going to say new scene. And I'm not going to save this. Uh, I like to have my background black. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to stick some spheres in, in our scene. So create a sphere and control D. We'll move this one over. Control D. We'll move this one over. Uh, get a little more space between them. And we're going to take these spheres. These aren't zeroed out actually, so I'm going to zero them all out and I'll remove them again. So put this guy over here. That guy's fine. We'll move this guy over here a little bit. So we have three nicely spaced spheres. Uh, we'll add a directional light so we can make him look a little fancy. Okay. And and so the first one that I'm going to to do is our orthographic. So um, this is all based around NGUI. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say new, create new UI. And it's going to pop up this little panel. And I've created uh, special layers for mine. Um, so uh, my standard orthographic I just put on the NGUI layer. And I click create UI. And if you've used NGUI before, you, you're familiar with this, uh, this hierarchy that they have here. So I'm not going to bother renaming the panels or anything, but I am going to go ahead and add a, a, uh, a button to, to this item. So I'm just going to pick uh, our first one. I'm going to just go ahead and say uh, Options, and I'm going to put the hover state as highlighted and I'm going to add this to my panel so that's a little big for what we want so I'm going to shrink this sucker down a little just a little bit and there we go <coughs> so now we have a button if I push play it works and that's pretty simple <coughs> Now we're going to get into something a little more complicated, uh, which is 
doing the um, the 3D UIs. So I'm going to actually, um, before I do that, I'm going to show you here, this is our kind of orthographic camera view, right? And it doesn't really matter where this camera is located. Right now it's located right around our object, but if I zoom out and I move this camera over here to this point and push play, it's not dependent on our main camera. So this is really why um, uh, one of the reasons NGUI is so powerful, you can just separate that out, put it in a different section in your scene, and the UI elements are exactly where you want. And uh, But they're not dependent on our, our object. I can move our object wherever we want. The menu item is going to always be in the same place at all times. So I'm going to stop this and then so now what I wanted to show you is doing the 3d camera so create new UI I'm gonna set it to advanced 3d I'm gonna put it on my NGUI 3d layer and I'm gonna create a new UI so this creates a, a whole new UI panel and again we can separate these out and put the uh, put it in a different section. Uh, the difference between the UI and the, the orthographic uh, or 2D and 3D cameras is that or your 3D camera you can actually rotate the objects and get um, you're, you're basically looking at your UI in perspective for, versus orthographic and that's really the main difference. Um, <coughs> So I'm going to go ahead and add another button, and I'm going to add it to our uh, 3D uh, camera setup. So I'm just going to call this one Continue, or here, I'll call this one cred Credits, and uh, Credits, 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 and these are our hover states and our press state, it's going to be glowy. I'm going to add this to the panel. And you're going to notice that this also puts it in the same exact you know, place. And it's always going to be in the same place every time. So if I wanted uh, <coughs> if I wanted this element to be more reflective of the position of an object in my scene um, then you would have to like parent this item to an element and that's really where our our third uh, more advanced setup comes into play and and in order to do that um, uh, I, I'll, sh I'll show you that in a second but this is basically your your 3d camera setup uh, one one neat thing about 3D camera setups is that you can kind of turn and angle your your um, your ob your menu item and make it look a little more 3D. You can kind of tilt them back or or forward or whatever, and kind of give that 3D aspect to your to your GUI. <coughs> so we're gonna jump right in and create another button. Uh, for play, uh, so button, play, highlighted, and play, and I'm going to add this one to, to here, and I'm going to move this one over here. So right now, it's kind of like the what I had before. Uh, if I push play, I can hover over them, I can click on each of them, and they're all working. But what I have here is I have both my play button and my credits button inside of uh, inside of my 3D layer. But let's say that I wanted um, the play button to always be parented to our game object. And when you're running around, you have like a little HUD that you want around your your character. Well, 
the, and you want that that HUD to be interactive, uh, so you want to be able to click on it. Well, um, right now, if I were to come over to, to our spheres, and if I moved our sphere, our menu item is not going to move with it. So what we could do is we could, uh, I should have named these actually. Okay, so this is play, so I'm just going to rename this play, play, just so I can see it. And this is our sphere play, so I'll just put a P there. And I'm going to take my play GUI uh, widget, and I'm going to parent it to to my object. And what you're going to notice in the scene is that it disappeared. So it's still there. It's just not showing in that camera anymore. And so what we need to do is actually grab our play button. We need to bring it on over into our scene. So now you see it's shown up. It's, it's really tiny. Um, so what we're going to do is actually I'm going to zero it out onto the actual object and I'm going to scale it back up. Oh, it got real big. Now we'll scale it down. Maybe too much there. Move it up a little. Scale it down a little more until it looks right. Okay, that's about right. So now we have our object. If I move our sphere, our play button's going to go with it. But this is where the main problem comes in with the camera setup. Is that if I push play, our hover states no longer work. Um, you can't click on it, and uh, it's it became non-interactive. And uh, it took me a while to figure out why this is, and it's a very very simple solution. Uh, all of the hover states in NGUI are based on a UI camera script that. Uh, handles all of those interactions for you. So what you need to do is click on your main camera and you're going to basically turn this into an NGUI camera. So you come into your component uh, NGUI UI and you want to click on camera and you want to add this uh, UI camera to the actual uh, <coughs> to the actual main camera in your scene and it turns it into an end GUI camera so that it can handle all the HUD interactions. So now if I push play, our play button now highlights fully interactive. Um, all the buttons are working and we could literally move this guy anywhere in our scene. Uh, let's move him back a little and he's still fully interactive and you can click on them and do all the different things you want to do. A uh, great thing about this, you can put a billboarding script on the play button so that when you rotate your character, your, your play button's always looking at the camera uh, and your UI HUD elements would always be looking at the, the camera. Uh, that's all, all I have. That's how you set up these different camera types. Uh, what we covered was the UI 2D, UI 3D cameras, and um, kind of a, a HUD camera setup. Uh, thanks for watching.